Hey everybody, BTO Pro here. Today I'm gonna to show you a real quick element I threw together um, to wrap an external JavaScript library. So uh, this element is called EXIF data and it's leveraging a library I found called EXIFJS. So EXIFJS gives this really nice little example of how you can basically siphon metadata off of images and then be able to present that to the user. So they give this really quick JavaScript and HTML example. And I thought, wow, that'd be a really cool thing to make a web component. So I did. So what this is, is EXIF data will look at and monitor anything that's in a slot. So anything that's placed between uh, these tags, it'll notice via either mutation observer or just the element setting itself up. And then it will create this little overlay that has the data rendered there dynamically. And that's all this, all this does. So you can see this isn't just a photo. This is a photo I shot on a Sony camera. I took it in 2012. You can get some information about the exposure number, uh, all kind of detail. Light source was unknown for that one. Flash didn't fire um, versus this image. It is known that the flash did not fire. Uh, auto white balance was on. So and it was taken on a Droid X2, so I apparently took this on a very old cell phone that I had. So, it's really briefly how the code works. Uh, we use a bridge module that I wrote, or you know, helper library, whatever you want to call it, uh, called ES Global Bridge. So this helps bridge non-ES modules uh, code uh, into the future where it can be used in ES module projects effectively. Basically, all it does is whenever you import a library, it just sets a promise and then waits for that promise to be returned. So you see this is a vanilla web component beyond that one small dependency just because this library pulls in. So you can see I have very minor styling in a shadow root here. And then whenever we render our element, we queue up the shadow root, nullifying what it was before and importing this content. That's how you end up getting on the screen. The important part going on is this ES Global Bridge request availability, which is going to then attempt to load this exif-js.js file. Once that's returned, you can see there's an event listener, and then I run update exif. Uh, we also set an event listener or click listener on the whole object. That's how I'm able to click on an image and get it to show up. Now, if I just click around a whole bunch, it, I could technically click on the exif data, so I do have a trap to make sure that doesn't happen but I have a click handler on the little overlay and on the image itself. So what that looks like is whenever you click on the image, it's going to say, okay, well, let's just make sure what was clicked was an image. And then it's gonna loop through all of the known images as far as their node data. So it assembles as ahead of time, uh, which is why it's so fast. Then it's gonna loop through the keys, build out that ordered list, and then it's going to insert it into that area. So you can see I then add a class to show the data and I've done some aligning to make sure that it lines up uh, correctly. That dim there is this, it's this uh, get bounded re client rectangle. So you can actually know exactly where on the page this item.node lives, which is what you just clicked on. So the way that we get that data out of the item to begin with is we have this update exif function, which is gonna clear out our node data and then loop over child nodes. And then for each item in the child nodes that's an image, it's gonna generate data running this window.exif. And that's this is what the bridge is getting you. You don't have a guarantee that this function exists unless you use that bridge helper uh, that I wrote above. And so that basically just makes sure that timing wise, you're not gonna get a window.exif undefined type of an, an issue. So you can see then I have a click handler on the data element, which is querying the shadow root. So this is a really nice little separation of concerns here. Um, all right, so up in the shadow root, you can see I just have a basic UL that needs populated with information and I can apply styles directly to that UL. However, I'm monitoring this dot node data um, or sorry, not node data, it's uh, child nodes, child nodes, child, there it is. Um, and child, this uh, child nodes is gonna give me that light DOM information, the information that is sitting here on the page. It's gonna give me this, 
while allowing me to apply my additional functionality on top. So that's all I want to show. This will be published to NPM shortly, and I'll add a link in the notes.